what's going on everyone my camera stand is not working today so I'm gonna be filming this one by hand I got something really exciting and really awesome to show you guys today um, as you guys know I drive a 2011 Subaru WRX um, and it has a pro tune on it as far as I know uh, the previous owner had a tune on it he may have had a callback to support but I see no indications of anything and nothing was left for me um, when the car was sold to me so as far as I know it has a pro tune on it to 17 psi other than that the only gauge I have is a boost gauge and I can't read anything else so for a turbo car you want to be able to get some more readings um, and that's where the exciting part comes in we got right here an, a Bluetooth OBD2 reader um, this specific one is OBD link I'll have a link to where I bought it down below and this is going to hook up to my 10 inch tablet that I got it's an Android tablet and we're gonna be running torque pro on it to be able to get all of the specs that the ECU can give us for the car um, and so I'm gonna show you guys the hookup process how we get it set up and uh, how it does when it's set up our first step our first step was just plugging it in on the Subaru it is right there green button is power blue is Bluetooth and we just had it pop up so we're gonna click on it to connect it and yes I am following the instructions we're going to allow it here And now that it's hooked up, I'm gonna open the app. I have already launched the app and got it set up. So at right here, you can see we already should be connected to the vehicle. GPS signal, I don't really know what that second one is. Um, we have connected, this is connected to the OBD2 and it is getting a reading from the car. My profile set up as WRX and here's what my home screen looks like. This is how it will be set up in my car. Um, the holder that I chose, I will put a link to that also in the description below. Um, it actually goes into the CD player and then goes to the back of the tablet. Um, this can also be used for a phone as well though. So it can be used for both, but I chose it because I wanted, that's what I wanted to see when I was driving. So that right there is my view and it'll give me everything I need. So now that we're set up, let's jump right into it. So this is the Torque Pro app. Um, I've seen some decent reviews on it online, um, but I kind of wanted to do my own review. First thing that people will probably be interested in is the fault codes. So as soon as I hit here, tap here to scan, and I have not done this yet, so you guys will see exactly what I see. If there are any codes, you will learn as I do. So it does a scan of your car through the Bluetooth, which is connected. And again, look, there are no wires going to this thing. It is completely Bluetooth down below. All right, man, we're gonna wait for it to load. I didn't see anyone else's take this long, but it also might be because this is the first time it's connecting to the car. All right, so that's a positive sign. No fault code stored. Press menu to go back and email reports. So I can actually email myself a report if a code was there. But since there are zero codes, that is an awesome sign. I'm happy and let's go to something else. But if the codes were there, you can read the actual codes. You can also clear the codes with this. Um, so this acts as a complete code reader. All right, nope, wrong button. I'm still learning this tablet. Okay, map view. If you have G uh, GPS on your phone or your tablet, you can do your maps on there. I'm not gonna get into it. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yes, I know my battery's low. Graphing, I don't have any graphs yet. 
but as you uh, go through and your car um, records information, you can see all the graphs from everything on there. Jesus, I'm sorry guys, I'm still learning this. Adapter status. Bluetooth connected, connected to adapter, connected to ECU, check, check, check. And we can see everything here. All right, so here are the available sensors for my car. So this is pretty cool. This gives me all the sensors that I can put on the app that my car will show. So a couple cool ones that I'm really looking for um, are the short-term and long-term fuel trims. Definitely want that. Um, timing advance, I definitely want that. Um, math airflow, I want that. Let's see what else we got. Ambient air. Mass airflow sensor. Hmm. The only one I'm not seeing is my air fuel ratio. But I'll dive into that later. Okay. So to go back. All right, now the thing everyone's been waiting for, all right? Real-time information. So I have already set this up, and it looks like I may actually get AFRs. Um, I don't know. We'll see whenever I turn the car on and take it for a drive. But the car is already warmed up. As you can see, I was already driving the vehicle. So we already see my coolant temp is up to 185. Um, I'm not getting the oil temp reading. I may just not get that on this car, I'm not sure. Um, air intake, the temperature. We have throttle position. Supposedly it's at 10%, uh, even though I'm not pushing the gas pedal. We have my boost, and then I have short-term, long-term fuel trim, and math, as well as advanced timing. I also have short-term fuel tr trims for the second bank, transmission temperature, actual torque, revs, miles per gallon, and there are different pages that you can just scroll through right here. My zero to 100, quarter miles, zero to 60, um, eighth of a mile, my horsepower. So this has a lot of cool things. And if you were gonna go for emissions, you can see right here that supposedly I'm emissions ready. Um, it's completed all these checks for me already on the vehicle. All right, so now let's start it up and let's get it to rev RPMs right here. And the cool thing, guys, you can change everything. So if I wanted to move it, I could move this app anywhere I wanted. So I want it right there. I could also change it if I want to change display type I could do dial meter so let's go with that for revs so it changes it just like that a lot of cool features and also one cool feature is you can actually change the dials in settings so from there I can go to themes I can choose a theme And, oh, I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, that's why. But there will be a whole list of dials that you can choose from. Um, I mean, this just has endless possibilities. I mean, there's so many freaking cool things on here. So let's start the car up and let's see how it goes. All right. So we'll let her come to idle. So this says I'm idling at roughly 700, 720, 30, sort, 7, yep. So you can see right there, I'm right above 700, I'm probably about 73 or so. Um, so with the fluctuations, it does keep fluctuating between 7 and 7. 
So it's pretty close, so let's, you'll be able to hear the car. This says I'm holding at 20 pounds, but I'm showing 23, so this may be a little off. And what I'm really interested in is my short term fuel trims right here. Uh, as I go up, they're actually getting a little high, which may show me that I'm actually leaning out a bit. Which wouldn't be good. Oh, that went down, so that's good. Let's see where that's at. So that went up again on the short term fuel trim. My long term is staying at about 8 right now, so you don't want to be above 10. It does appear to be running a little lean. So, timing advanced also looks a tad bit, it actually looks high, so. So I'll play around with that. But this is a good overview of everything that is on there. Um, you see coolant went up, my intake has come down. So I'll play around with this and I'm gonna give you guys an actual video. So the next video, I'll show you guys um, with us actually running the car, how it does on the streets. Um, but this was just a general overview of the app um, and of the setup I'm gonna be running. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. So more video on this to come. If you have questions about the app or the setup or anything, um, everything I bought, I'll put in the description down below so you guys can see it. But it appears to be running quite smoothly. So questions or anything let me know guys and I'll see you guys in the next video peace